Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good afternoon and thank you for logging on. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. We have a very warm and slightly more humid day today, although we are seeing a little more cloud cover and possibly even a pop up shower. I'll show you uh, who has the best chance to see that here coming up in just a second. Otherwise, the more widespread rain will push in for tonight and rain will become likely for tomorrow and Saturday. Things could get pretty soggy here in eastern Iowa. Here's what it looks like though on future track. That's the high level clouds trying to push in and filter that sunshine. We also have some low level clouds kind of splitting the area. It's not going to show up here on future track, but it's going to slowly move off to the east. Any showers would be pretty brief if you see them and most will stay dry today as we see that high level clouds cover trying to filter that sunshine uh, through the afternoon and the evening. Otherwise, after 10 p.m., we see this cold front approaching and that's going to give us these scattered rain showers and a few storms. That pushes in from northwest to southeast through the overnight hours. Here's uh, early tomorrow morning and we continue with that rain. The cold front will stall out and become a stationary boundary. And that means that we continue to see some redevelopment throughout the day, especially the afternoon and the evening for tomorrow. Uh, severe threat does look low overall, but we could continue to see some heavy rain showers at times all the way through Friday night. And more rain will be possible on Saturday as that front remains overhead. So you see more of those showers pushing in by 10 a.m. on Saturday. And when all is said and done, heading into Monday, we are looking at about one to three inches across eastern Iowa. So we do need that rain. It is going to come kind of over a spread of a couple of days, but uh, we could have to monitor those river levels heading into next week because they should be on the rise with all of this rain. So something to keep in mind there. Otherwise, the uh, winds remain a little breezy this afternoon, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those winds coming in from the south and they should die down through tonight, becoming more 5 to 15 miles per hour. However, things feeling a little humid for this afternoon with dew points in the mid 60s. That's where we will stay for tomorrow. Then once that front moves through, starting to drop down for Saturday, but still feeling slightly humid with dew points around 62. Now overall highs today uh, should be in the mid to upper 80s, could be close to 90 in Waterloo. That filtered sunshine will kind of limit our warmth for the rest of this afternoon, but we're already in the 80s. And again, that'll come with uh, some humidity and a breezy south southeast wind. Then for tonight, the rain and storms will become likely. Lows will be in the mid to upper 60s as we see a lighter south wind, 5 to 15 miles per hour. City by city forecast, 70% chance for rain and storms Friday and Saturday. So looking pretty likely across eastern Iowa. Temperatures will be cooler as a result, upper 70s to low 80s for both of those days. Then in your, in your storm track seven day forecast for Father's Day on Sunday, the rain becomes much less widespread, but we could still see some isolated activity. Highs would be around 83. Then we kind of cool down through next week from the mid 80s to the upper 70s by the middle of the week. And that'll come with a few isolated storms along with partly cloudy skies.